There is an extraordinary island not far from Okinawa that is relatively unknown by anyone other than locals. It is known as Kudakajima, or God's Island. The island is inaccessible by plane, so the only way to travel here is via a ferry commute from Azama Port on Okinawa. Buses are available from Naha Airport to Chinan Azama Harbor. A standard ferry, which takes about 20 to 25 minutes, costs 1,280 yen for a round trip. They do have a new Kudaka Express, which only takes 12 to 15 minutes for the same price. As soon as we arrived, we rented bicycles to navigate the small island. Don't be surprised if you see a cat around every corner, as it seems easy for them to find comfortable spots to chill all over the island. There is a minute selection of places to stay if you wish to spend the night here. Aside from a bed and breakfast, there is the Kudakajima Shukuhaku Koryukan, or community center. Inside are traditional tatami guest rooms, as well as an ethnic exhibition room. Izaho is a ceremony which consists of dancing and praying to gods. It is said that married women over the age of 31 on Kudaka Island are given spiritual power to protect their families. The viewpoint on top of the community center commands a beautiful panorama of the whole island. With a protected faith and tradition dating back to the Ryukyu Kingdom era, this destination is regarded as sacred. It would not be an exaggeration to say that Kudaka Island is the last holy place in Japan. When we had called to book our rooms, the center offered us an opportunity to stay in a traditional Okinawan home during our time on Kudaka. When you first enter the home, there is a butsudan, or family shrine, in the center. In traditional Okinawa, houses were built with directional layouts that attracted positive energy. The alcove faces southeast, and the kitchen and bathroom are in the northwest corner. I looked huge in the small Okinawan sized kitchen. After getting settled in our lovely guest house, we decided to explore. Exiting the residential area, Madoka and I pedaled on to Ishikihama, a white sand beach that is just beyond a path through the forest. Swimming is strictly prohibited on most of the beaches. The second waterfront we came across was Shimashi Hama. <laughs> oh my god! <gosh. laughs> so scary. There were some arranged shells someone had left among the rock. On our way, along the perimeter of the island, we came across a cool banyan tree.
Finally, we had made it to Cape Kabedu, which is on the furthest tip from the port of Kudaka. Cape Kabedu is a sacred cape where Amamikyo, the god responsible for the creation of the Ryukyu Islands, appeared. On our way back from the cave, we made a stop at Hubo Utaki, which is an extremely sacred shrine. Only shaman are permitted to enter this area, so we had to observe what we could from the outside. Visitors must never step into a restricted area. After a long day of cycling, Madoka and I grabbed dinner at Shokuro Tokuji, taking videos of my pictures where we enjoyed a delicious ginger pork stir-fry. 